at this necklace. It's a really cute, long necklace. Let me see. If you could like double it or something. It is the end of the day. It is, um, I don't have a watch on, but I think it's like 6.30. It's been a really long day and uh, I had razzle dazzle here at the beginning of the day and it's like, there's no help for it. So let me see if I can uh, like collect myself so I'm a little bit more presentable. There's not much I can do. I'm just gonna take the glasses off so at least you don't have a glare to deal with. Oh, dog, no. No, 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 no. We have a thrift haul today. I'm so excited to share a thrift haul with you guys. Uh, I don't know. I've done one thrift haul recently and it was really fun, but it had been a long time since I'd gone. We've just been super busy with life and uh, so we haven't gotten to the thrift store lately. It's not a priority, but it's fun when we get to do it. So I went with my daughter the other day. We were looking for some specific stuff for her and I just went for fun and because I'm the driver and but I found some goodies. So I'm so excited to show you guys kind of a quick thrift haul. I only have two small bags, but I got some good stuff. So if you're excited to see what I got, because it's always fun, stay tuned. If you're a thrifty mom out there or you want to be a thrifty mom, can you give me a thumbs up right now? I would appreciate it. That'd be awesome. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, why not? Can you do that right now? Just click subscribe. I would love you for it. Now I'm gonna show you what I've got. I've got some goodies. I'm gonna do the books first and then the cool stuff after that. We have this one thrift store near us that has half price books on Mondays and we went on a Monday. So that was very exciting. I think I even have my receipt in here so I can remember how much I paid. Yeah, so I can remember how much I paid for stuff. So let's get into it. The first thing I got was this book. Who's the author? Melanie Shankle. I have no idea who that is, but it looked like a really good book. It's called Church of the Small Things. And at first I thought just by the looks of it, I thought it was just like a novel. So I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I started reading it and it says, it says the million little pieces that make up a life. And it's talking about basically being a mom, how you can use the little kind of mundane things in life to make an impact. Um, is a Zondervan book, which is a good um, Christian publisher. So I'm going to read the back real quick. It says, what do cooking dinner, driving sugar, buzzed junior high girls to soccer tournament and being nice to that coworker who perpetually gets on your nerves have to do with making a lasting impact? In Church of the Small Things, Melanie Schenkel reminds us that God does extraordinary things in our most mundane moments of faithfulness. Through her hilarious reflections on being a mom, wife, and writer, 
Melanie helps us embrace the meaningful life that we find, the beauty and laughter that lie right beneath the surface of our every ordinary incredible day. I just thought that was good. I think there's one other book I read. I don't remember what it was called, but it was about like making an impact when you feel like life is just ordinary kind of thing. You know, I'm a homeschool mom. Like I stay at home. I have these kids. I go to the grocery store. I go to church. Like how can I make a big impact in the world? So anyway, I um, think this will be really good. I'm excited. So this was, and this looks brand new. I mean, this looks like brand spanking new. Their books, let's see. So this book was $2, but it was half price day. So it was only $1. Woohoo! Let's see what else we got. I found another book. This is Priscilla Shiler. This is by Priscilla Shire. Prashir, per, what? Oh my word. Let me try this again. I know who this is. I just can't say it. This is by Priscilla Shearer. Shire. How do you say her name? Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Let's try this again. This book is by Priscilla Shire. Shire, okay, I don't know. I don't know what her name is. Shire. I've never actually said it. I've heard it a lot. How do you say it? Okay, guys, you know who this is? The girl in the front? Okay, she's pretty famous. So this book is called Life Interrupted, Navigating the Unexpected. It just sounded really good. This is cool because it is, um, I, I have actually, I don't think I've ever read anything by her, but I've heard her speak like on videos, you know, here and there. And I think she's probably good. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about her, but I, I you know, she is a believer. So we'll go with that and see. Um, but this talks about Jonah, which is really cool because it talks about Jonah's, uh, it says the prophet Jonah's existence was interrupted by a call of God that would require a complete change of life. And it talks about, the whole thing is about Jonah and how he ran into interruptions in life and had to learn to go with it. And um, so there on the back, it says life interruptions equal divine intervention. So anyway, I have a son named Jonah and we love the story of Jonah. Uh, it's something we can learn a lot from. So I was excited about that. So anyway, that was a softback book. So that that was only $1.50 normally, so that was 75 cents. Woo -hoo. And it also looked brand new. Another one I got for my one of my girls, it's called The Strangers by uh, Margaret Peterson Haddix. This one is one that my oldest daughter read a couple years ago and really liked it. I think it's like a, um, is it a magical kind of book? I think it's an adventure. It's an adventure, maybe magic type of thing, but it was a book she loved. And she was like, you need to get that for, you know, her sister. So I got that for her. So this was a hardback kids book. A dollar? I think this is normally a dollar and it was 50 cents. That's nice. This is a book that I have seen on a lot of reading lists in a lot of different curriculums. The Shakespeare Stealer. And I've heard it's really good. I don't know a whole lot about it. I think it's a mystery by Gary Blackwood. So anyway, um, I got this for my younger girl and this is paperback. So I think this is only like 50 cents. Is this 50 cents? This was 75 cents. So it was only 38 cents. That's a steal. And this last book I thought was so cool. So I got this for my son. So this is called The Family Storybook Treasury. But I noticed a little, a couple characters on the front. It had Curious George. It's got the monkeys, the monkeys jumping on the bed. Five little monkeys, 10 monkeys in a bed, whatever that one's called. It's got Mike Mulligan and the Steam Shovel, which is a five in a row. Classic. I love that one. I think this is Sheep in a Jeep. And then anyway... Yeah, did I say Curious George? I was just so excited. So it's supposed to have a CD in it, which it doesn't. But, um, so see, there, it's like it's like a compilation. So there's Mike Mulligan and the Steam Shovel. It's got a bunch of different books in this one book. And I was like, oh, this would be sweet to read at bedtime to like have them all together. There's sheep in a Jeep. So anyway, I just thought that would be super fun. So this was $4.50. But it's half price, so it's only $2.25. Woohoo! So now I'll show you the other stuff that I got. We actually went to two different thrift stores that day. Let me show you what we got. Okay, this first thing was completely unnecessary, but you know, still necessary. I had to get it. So this was, let's see, how much was this? Oh, okay, this adorable popcorn bowl. Like, look how small it is. It's tiny. Like, it would hold one little serving of popcorn, and then you probably have to refill it because it's probably not enough. But it was so cute. I actually have a big popcorn bowl just like this. Actually, I have two exactly like this. 
that say popcorn and they're glass just like this and I got them at thrift store. So this is just the baby. I had to have it with them. So this is only a dollar. So I just needed it. It says it's made in Portugal. That's pretty cool. I feel like that's the first thing that I own that's made in Portugal. I'm gonna get the big one to show you. See, look, here's the big one. And I actually have two of these. So they're not exactly the same. The design is a little bit different, but how cute is that? I had to have, so I got two of those and one little baby. So I actually, we do a lot um, when we do uh, like movie nights or readathons and stuff, I'll put like, popcorn or chips or something like that in here. So I might put like a little snack like M&Ms or something in there. So anyway, so cute. And that was only a dollar. Woohoo! Next thing I got, oh, this was so cute. It was just $4. I got this cute shirt. I have a really cute Super Mario. <coughs> Sorry. I have a really cute Super Mario uh, sweatshirt, but it's white. And um, so I have to be careful with it, but I love it. And this is really cute. And I, it was like kind of oversized and I don't have a lot of long sleeve t-shirts so it just says super mario 85 here we go i don't know what 85 means i was five <laughs> in 85 but it's like brand new it looks like it's never been worn that's the cool thing about thrift stores is um i know some people are like oh that's so gross i can't believe you buy clothes from the thrift store but that thing looks brand new so and i'm sure brand new it would be really expensive i'll look it up and i'll put it right here because i guarantee that is really expensive and i paid for four dollars for it Okay, the next thing I got was another completely unnecessary thing, but I just haven't, I haven't been thrifting in so long and I just I loved it. So this was $4, but look at that cute little bumblebee on it. It's just a picture. It's not super big, like compared to this popcorn bowl, you know, it's a little bit bigger than that, but um, I don't know. I was like, maybe I'll put milk in it and then the kids can pour that at the table or maybe it'll just be a decoration. I wasn't sure, but I loved it and I wanted to buy it. And then I found this for $1.50, this really cute tray. So I also thought they both match. It's like gold and white. So I was like, that would be really cute on my counter too as just a decoration. So I love it. So anyway, that was $1.50 and that was $4. So I think that was a steal for something that I didn't need. The last two things are not a good deal, but something that I couldn't pass up, I just couldn't pass it up. I couldn't. Do you ever have that where you're like, I don't need that, it's unnecessary, and that's too expensive, and it's a waste of money, but I need it in my life. Well, that's what this was, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the sticker off so you guys can see the true, full, amazingness of this. I'm a sucker for like dishes and bowls and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Okay, the, the cool, okay, here's what I got. These are adorable. I just, I thought this was the prettiest print. They're wood, they're wooden bowls. They're made in India. And I just thought they were so cute. They're not, it says you can't, um, they're not like food food safe or not, or, or it doesn't say not food safe. What does it say? I have to read like this now. Like my mom, <laughs> I always used to make fun of her for it. It says, do not soak, wipe with a damp cloth. So it's not something you'd like eat out of. But I was like, these would be cute with, I don't know, it'd be cute for like jewelry or something, or it'd be cute for like wrapped candy. Not that we keep candy out, but maybe, maybe I'll start keeping, you know, mints out like grandma used to or something. I don't know what I'll put in them, but I love them. And I think they're adorable and they're from India. I love finding stuff from other countries. I don't know, I think it's really cool. So those are gorgeous. Oh, they were, guess how much? Guess. Okay, let's see if you were right. $5 a piece. Ugh. See, like that's, I know. Don't yell at me and don't tell me it was too much. I know, that happened one other time. I bought something that people were like, that's so lame. Why would you pay so much for that? I know I'm admitting to you right now, it was not a good deal, but I love them. And if you find something that you love and it's unique and you've never seen anything like it, I'm gonna pay $10 for it. So um, that's my story. <laughs> okay, I just walked into the living room after I put everything away and I remembered that I had one more super cool thing that I have to show you that I bought the other day. I already put my ring light away, so just, you know, sorry, just deal with the lighting. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to show you this amazing thing that I found for my son. Amazing. Did I say amazing? Check this out. This is a Playmobil pet care center. Let me see if I can close it without messing up all the stuff that I just put where it goes. It's a pet clinic. 
okay? My daughter a couple years ago was like super into Playmobil. And so I know how expensive Playmobil stuff is. It's like ridiculous. I mean, $50 to $100 for some of these sets. This thing was $5. It was the entire house with all these cute little pieces. Now, I'm going to show you the pieces because it's actually, it's actually insane. Look at this cute little desk. Okay, if I can hold it for you. So there's the front of the desk, but inside the desk, it has these tiny little pieces. It's got like a syringe, scissors. They're, they're actually movable pieces. There's a syringe, there's scissors, there's uh, something, a scalpel, tweezers. Like, how cute is that? Oh my word, I love Playmobil. But you never see it at the thrift store. See what's in this other drawer? There's like a little lotion bottle. I'm not even sure what those things are supposed to be. There's a little spray bottle there. Look how cute. Oh, those are bandages. Oh my word, those are bandages for the pets. How cute. And up here we have a little x-ray machine maybe. I'm not sure what that is. There's a tub for a little bath. This even has books for the bookshelf, a desk. Oh my word, how cute is this? This little gerbil comes out and he gets to stay in that little hay cage. Then there's an x-ray machine. Playmobil is so cute. Is there anything in these drawers? I think these drawers open too. They open, but there's nothing in them, but how cute is that? Okay, then let's look on the other side. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this. That is like an examination table with this little, I don't know if that's a scale or whatever you put the animal on. Um, this is supposed to be a food bin. I looked it up and it is missing two little pieces, but you know, $5, we're not gonna complain. Look at that, how cute is that? These little cages. And there's a bunny, a cat, and two dogs. And these cages open to let them out. Oh, there's another cat. We'll put the cats together. The mama cat and the baby cat. How cute is that? Oh my word. This is in perfect condition. Like none of the stickers are peeling off. That's one thing that if you see something like this at the thrift store, like the stickers are always peeled off and this is in perfect condition. $5. Like that's crazy. So my daughter who was into Playmobil and has a bunch of Playmobil stuff, doesn't actually play with it anymore. And my son, I was like, I don't know if he's too old for it, but I feel like he would still play with it. He's nine and I don't know. I think he would probably enjoy her old Playmobil stuff. Uh, what do you guys think? How old are your kids that play with Play Playmobil stuff? I feel like they do Legos and Playmobils for quite a while. So anyway, I thought this was super fun. We already have people that they can bring from the other sets that can be the doctor and stuff like that. But that was so cute. Oh my word, I was so excited. It wasn't too much, it was just a little bit, but it was fun and it was a fun little shopping trip with my daughter. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do you guys like thrifting? I, I love thrifting. If you are on the fence, I have a video. I'll put it uh, at the end of this video and you need to watch it and it'll help you become a thrifter. I, I can't promise but I can guarantee it'll make you at least think about it unless you're super stubborn, then don't watch it. But if you are open-minded, I have this video that I made that's got reasons for you've got to thrift. You've got to thrift. Thrifting is so fun. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, um, a little <laughs> this is Priscilla Shiler. Priscilla Shire. Prisci Pr what? Oh my word. Priscilla Shearer? Shire? Priscilla Shire, Shire, I, okay, I don't know, I don't know what her name is, Shire, uh, read, read list, what do you call it, reading list, um, it's been a long day, this is a book, <laughs> got the monkeys, the monkeys jumping on the bed, five little monkeys, ten monkeys in a bed, whatever that one's called. Mm -hmm.